Hi, everybody. Hope you're all doing well today. It's actually live time, meaning it's Tuesday. So when I upload this video, it'll be Tuesday afternoon. Um, I actually decided to take some PTO time from work to get some stuff done around the house. So I got home a little while ago. And thank you for coming to my channel first and foremost. Like I say to everyone, oh my god, first before I get into my day. Um, I am so forever grateful to all of you for sharing my channel. Those of you who've been with me, I'm moving the camera up just a little bit. For those of you who've been with me since the beginning, for those of you who recently have subscribed, for those of you who have recently met, all of you, every single one of you from here on YouTube, from Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook page, I'm forever grateful to all of you for sharing my channel, supporting me, and just being an amazing, commenting, emailing me, just so you know, I'm not ignoring you. It takes me a couple of days, sometimes up to 48 hours to respond, but I will always respond to everyone. Um, if you want to reach out to a loved one that's passed, I'm sorry for your loss, and I just have to put this out there. Contact me via email with the details, and if you want to do a private reading, um, I do feel for you, and it's just a donation. It's not a set fee. I basically will ask you a few questions if you're interested in a reading, whether or not you're reaching someone from the other side or not. I ask you a couple of questions, very short and forth forthcoming, not a lot of details, and then I will give you a donation uh, suggestion, and then we go from there. So I wanted to put that out there. So today's Tuesday. Um, like I said, I decided to take some time off from work. And um, I have a lot of things to do around the house. I'm about to clean this tank. I wanted to do my readings so that you were not waiting because I have two readings left that I didn't get a chance to record last night, and that's Capricorn and Virgo. This one is for Capricorn. Um, any of the information that you want about me is listed below um, regarding donations, my website, all my social media pages, my email, and how to get in contact with me. And a little, little bit about me and what I do. And um, I don't read just tarot. And so read the description below. I changed it up a little bit for so I don't have to re review it every time I do the video. And I can spend more minutes doing your reading, my followers, my subscribers, my clients. So the cards I will be using for Capricorn's reading are cards I used in the last reading. They're my elf cards. Here, I'll show you the box in case anybody's interested. It's called the Tarot of Elves. I'm a huge Tolkien fan, so these are amazingly beautiful cards. Very symbolis symbolistic. I also will be using, if I could find them where I put them, I will be using the Animal Deck, which I use almost in all my readings, unless I feel that I need to use the Native American one. And these cards are just, don't mind me, my allergies are bothering me a little bit today. They were bothering me a little bit last night. I think there's, it's not pollen, it's something else out in the air that's troubling me. So these are the cards, the animal cards, they're beautiful. And then, if I feel compelled to, I will be using the deck I received in the Spiritual Guru box. The Money and Law of Attraction cards. If you have financial issues going on in your cards or anything that I feel that I need to give you, then I will be reaching out and pulling a, a card or two from that deck. So, for those of you who don't know, my name is Chris. This is my channel, Parlay the Spirit. And I hope that you enjoy this reading. And if you hear the pitter-patter of feet or dogs barking, which I'll try to pause it if it gets too loud and let them out and come back, I have two beautiful, beautiful puppies. Um, my beautiful nine-year-old Wednesday. I think she's nine now. Eight-year-old. I can't always forget. Let me think. Eight. She's going to be eight. So she's eight. She just turned eight. And Pugsley. No, wait. I'm wrong. I always forget the years. It, it doesn't feel like 2019 to me. That's why. Wednesday just had a birthday in Pugsley. So they're a year apart. They're eight and nine years old. Pugsley's birthday is actually St. Patrick's Day, which is Sunday. So I have Monday off from work because I took it off as a floating holiday. So I will be making corned beef. Probably on Sunday, though. Corned beef, cabbage, carrots, my Irish heritage. Um, Corned beef, cabbage, carrots, and I don't eat uh, potatoes that much because they're made out of the, um, the nightshade um, 
vegetables. I know a lot of people don't know about those, but I try to stay away from them. So I'm shuffling your deck for you amazing Capricorns. Let's see what your reading holds. The last reading I did, I think it was Scorpio, was hysterical. It's uh, just hysterical. Spirit was very funny. The messages from the other side were funny, and I hope you enjoyed it if you watched it. A card fell out. I'm going to leave it over here for Spirit. Please tell me what you have for Capricorn for the reading for March. If you hear music in the background, I have one of my favorite movies, which is going to shock a lot of people. Uh, I love the soundtrack because I love the band Korn. Uh, Queen of the Damned, even though it doesn't really, it was one of the suck fests, you know, didn't follow the book. Well, it did follow the book, but a lot of people were upset because it wasn't Tom Cruise. Um, no, it wasn't as good as the book or the sequel to the interview with the vampire, but I enjoy this movie tremendously. I enjoy Stuart Townsend, who plays Lestat in this movie, because it's more of a modern day uh, vampire slash Anne Rice character. Anyways. So that's what's in the background because that's my go-to DVD when I'm cleaning because I love the soundtrack. So let's just, Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn for March? Let's see what's going on. See if you got anything exciting going on since my reading keeps bringing up a man. Every reading that I look on YouTube when readers do my reading for cancer, they keep bringing up because I'm single. So I don't like to do relationship readings. So I don't tend to do those very often unless love comes through in your cards. I try to ask spirit to show it for those that are single like myself who don't always want to hear the love stuff all the time. Not that you don't want to hear love, but relationship love. So that's what keeps coming up in my rating. Okay, so Capricorn, what do we have for you? I feel like you have, okay, this is what's coming through. So I see this card here, and I'm just going to show it to you. I hope it picks it up on the camera. There's three women here. There's two here and one here. I feel like in a lot of these readings this month, and I think it has to do with this Mercury retrograde and the energy, I feel like some of the signs um, are, okay, so you know how people say, well, you're Cancer, but your Cancer reading isn't accurate. It's not resonating with you. So you go and look at your astrology chart, which I'm not an astrology expert. I always suggest that people do that. And you see that, oh, where you're, the planets lie and where your sign lies, that you may lie in a different sign. Well, I've had two readings, I think, this month that have fallen where they read more for Gemini. I feel like you, Capricorn, are in the same boat because this is you and this is the Gemini sign, okay? This is what's being shown to me, just like it was shown in the last reading that I had this. So if this does not resonate with you 100%, if parts of it resonate with you, I would suggest going and checking out the Gemini reading that I did and see if that resonates with you. That's just a suggestion. Also, too, I, I'm not sex-specific, specific, gender-specific in, in any of my readings. If I say male or female, it could be male or female energy. It could be male or female person. Unless... A specific spirit tells me it's a male it's a female then I will share it with you the same with time frames this could be past present or future most of the time it's future but sometimes I get resonating with past stuff but if a time frame is specific given specifically given to me such as say you're going on a trip in a year I will specifically give you either the calendar days or the numbers that spirits giving me but other than that I don't it's no time frames I feel like you, Capricorn, I feel like you're a magical person, meaning you're either connected, I feel like you're connected to the, which is perfect for the elf cards, you're connected to the Irish, you're connected to Irish descent. I keep being shown different Irish symbols, Celtic symbols. So I feel like your ancestry is in the Irish realm or your past life was Irish and that you remember this. So it's either current life or past life. And I feel it very strongly. I feel they're a very magical, almost like medicine woman vibe, but more for the Irish ancestry. 
what they're doing is they're showing me spirit is showing me my medicine woman ancestral heritage even though i am irish in this life and yes i've been that in another life they're showing me my ancestry which is in my blood of my native american bloodline and my native american past lives because i've had several of them and they're showing me as the medicine woman and they're showing me sitting in a teepee with the sage and and sitting there and um the drums and singing and humming and using vocal but not words and and doing a ritual but what they're doing is they're showing me this so that i could tell you that i see you doing that in the irish ancestral family and that you have strong ties to that and throughout your life you've had that attachment to this to that magical part of yourself now you haven't embraced it as much but you're starting to in the past i'd say they're showing me five the number five so either the past five years the past five months or even the past five weeks you've kind of started delving into uh different things like sage herbs holistic candles essential oils and even crystals um and you're also very in tune with the earth mother earth you're very much have that pagan um you know that pagan grounding that pagan lifestyle that 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 you know what we all have right that are like this that we're very compassionate about the trees the grass the sky the animals uh the bugs you know that kind of thing i also feel like hmm let me just look at the next card i feel like capricorn It could be either current or about to happen, but I'm going to show you these two cards and explain these to you. So this is showing two people, and you see the hole in the ground and how upset she is, right? And they're looking at the hole in the ground. And then the next card that's next to this is the, I hope you can see it. It's the, well, I'm going to show it to you. A little kid right and then on top of that is a falling card right falling oh no falling so you notice these two right there's the hole and there's the falling it's pretty funny how so now most people can incorporate this as negative most of the people are incorporating this as negative like they do the negative like they do the death card all the time every not every person, but a majority are always like, oh my God, or the devil card. Oh my God, and they're panicking. This card means that you have had a huge falling out or traumatic fight with someone. I keep seeing falling out. So it's not, it's not, how do I, how do I, I'm trying to figure out how to vocalize it to you from spirit. It's not a physical falling. It's not like this card represents. It's a spiritual slash energetic emotional falling, okay? It's not a physical you fell through a hole in the ground. You fell. That's not what it is or that you're going to hurt yourself or break something. That's not what this is for warning or foreboding or whatever you want to call it or prof being prophetic. Prophetic. It's basically telling you that you had a falling out. There's a falling out, falling out. They keep showing me falling out, falling out. And this is between you and somebody. It's you. I feel like you're a female energy. You could be a female energy in a male's body with another male. So it's a female energy. So you can be a male with a female energy or you could be female with a female energy. Or if they're not showing me sex. So whoever you are, Capricorn, you're going to have this falling out with a man, a male energy, okay? And this is going to be a pretty huge falling out. I don't feel like it's a relationship, like a marriage or a relationship, a love relationship. I feel like it's a long-term relationship. Maybe it, you had dated at one time and then just decided to be friends, but there's a huge falling out. And it's not going to, it's not going to, if it hasn't happened already, it's going to happen. 
and it's going to end. And if it has happened already and you're questioning whether or not you made the right choice, sorry, my allergies are bothering me. Um, you did make the right choice because I feel like this person that you had this falling out with didn't take the argument serious enough and it had let up. It wasn't just one thing that happened with this fallout. I feel like there was a bunch of things leading up to it that caused it to be this huge. And stop wasting energy on it, they're telling me. If it's already happened, stop wasting energy on it. And if it hasn't happened yet, don't stress about it. It's going to happen regardless whether or not you worry. Now this card is just basically your, your, your little self, meaning your childlike self. Because what happens is with these, right, you're having this falling out. Your child self, meaning your immature self, has that doubt in your head, did I do the right thing? Because you're used to giving in sometimes to people to keep them from being upset and to just hold the peace. But this this needs to stay. This If it already happened, you need to just cut your ties and be, be happy with the situation and let it go. Release it into the universe. Don't hold on to that. Don't hold on to the anger. Don't hold on to the sadness. Don't hold on to what could have been. Because when we have a history with someone, uh, we tend to hold on to the good out of it and what we wanted out of it. And it's sad because a lot of times we don't see the true person for themselves. We see who we want them to be in our relationships, meaning friendships or whatever. And so when it ends, we feel like it was something we did to cause it. And so we take it internally. I did that with someone I was friends with for a very long time that did something extremely hor horrible to me, hurt-wise. Something that they could never take back that they said that was my go-to go thing. Meaning, this one subject, that's the only subject in my life till the day I die, if someone is negative about or horrible about, um, I have no ifs, ands, or buts about terminating them from my life. So... That's how you have to feel about the situation. It's something that push that button that you're there's no going back. Even though in your head, every once in a while, you may think to yourself, well, maybe I was harsh. No, you were harsh and you needed to be harsh. So sometimes we need to be harsh with people like that. And look at it this way. They lost an amazing friend and it's their loss, not yours. Because guess what? As you evolve and as you create and as you become a better person in your life you're going to attract those who are meant to be in your life and those that appreciate you this is something a huge lesson i had to learn i also feel like this magical part that i talked about with the celtic and the medicine woman and all this stuff you're embracing the alchemy of yourself you're embracing the pagan of yourself you're embracing i feel like i'm and i don't like to talk about religion on here very much yes i'll talk about myself but i try not to judge too much you know i've been I've researched tons of religions and spiritual paths after I walked away from a religion that I was for majority of my life. I did tons of research because I wanted to know about everything out there because I wanted to see where I fit, what was being shown to me throughout my life. And I feel like you are going through this or have been going through this and you're going to find your niche if you haven't already. So if you're looking back and you already made that aha moment and you embraced it, great. But if you haven't, I see it coming up in the future. I see you embracing that part of you. So this is you, male energy. This is you, okay? This is you embracing it. See the water? Holding the cup. You're embracing it. You're just embracing it. You're like, okay, I hear you and I'm ready for whatever you need to show me and wherever the path lies. I know when I kept fighting it because I was following a path that wasn't mine because it was forced on me by society and once I realized that all these signs through my life led me to where I am, that's why I'm so comfortable with sharing with people my path and how I got here. And there's no looking back because I feel unconditional love like I never did with the other paths. So that's a pretty amazing feeling, Capricorn. So now. I'm going to shuffle the animal cards and pull, I feel like I need to pull two cards from this deck. Possibly three, so we'll see. If one falls out, then I will pull two. Because that tends to happen a lot lately, I don't know why. These animal cards are amazing cards. I just absolutely love them. 
like I say to all of you, and I know I repeat myself, but if you haven't listened to my readings before or watched my readings before, I'm not a typical tarot reader. I am not book taught. I am not claiming to be a tarot reader. I am, see, I told you one was going to fall out. I am a spiritual medium. I am a psychic medium. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm not a tarot reader. I use the cards just for symbolism for your pleasure watching this video. So let's see what we have. Let's see what we have for Capricorn for March. All right, here we go. And I'll share the card that fell out in a moment. I'm trying to, these cards are slippery. Oh, look at that. So, Capricorn. For some reason, while I was pulling cards out, I decided to pull two extra cards. I don't know why. I just felt compelled to. So, the card that fell out is the lizard. This is the person that you got in the fight with. This is their energy, okay? Lizards aren't always soft and cuddly, right? I love lizards, but fast, quick, spiny. That's what I feel this person was to you. Now, this is you, and I've done this in other readings. This is you. Don't mess with you. I'm telling you, you're laid back like I am. You're, um, what's the word I want to use? Um, you're mellow, and you will give everything and anything to help your friends. But when someone does something so atrocious, there's no going back, and you, you will sting them. And that's basically you. This is you as well. Okay, this is you, the cheetah, fast, some people can't keep up with you, your energy is like that sometimes, it's not all the time, but right now during this Mercury retrograde or this retrograde, this is you, this is your energy, you're not always a cheetah, but you're always this, cheetah comes in when you're affected by the environment, whether it's the weather, the planets, the sun activity, or the retrogrades. This is going to be your energy. I feel like this energy happens every once in a while during the retrograde. It doesn't happen all the time. And then the last thing I see is the frog. Which is, I feel like the frog is a friend, a female friend, female energy friend. Who has been someone that you've known for about, I keep seeing the number 12. So I don't know if you've known them for 12 months or 12 years. Or 12 weeks. But they're saying that you've known them for a while. And they're the ones who you talk to about the alchemy. Spiritual part of yourself. And I feel like maybe you have delved into the gods. And Mother Earth and different things like that. And that you are starting to try to see if that's your comfort zone or maybe you had that aha moment recently or you're about to have that aha moment that I just talked about a few minutes ago. That's what this frog is bringing to me. Now, I feel like, I feel like you, I need to pull another card from the elf deck. I feel like Capricorn, before I finish this reading, I need to pull a card for you regarding job opportunity I feel like I'm being told I don't know where this is going to go but we'll see so what do you have for Capricorn for job they keep seeing job wow <laughs> so this is kind of funny. It has nothing to do with job. It has to do with your alchemy self, the one I was talking about, your magical self. Okay. So, I feel like I'm reading for a Capricorn that's single, who maybe dates or is dating someone maybe long term, but is not serious about marriage or any of that crap, right? None of that twin flame soulmate shit. Yes, it's true. They are true, but... As if you know me at all or if you haven't, go watch my video about Twin Flames. I don't have the same outlook about Twin Flames like most people do. But I feel like you meet this person, not anytime soon, but I'm being shown farther out. So I'm being shown 
within three to five years, which is not a big deal to you because you're okay with your life the way it is, right? But in three to five years, and it could escalate, it could happen quicker or sooner, I feel like you do meet the soulmate and you meet them through the alchemy and all this research and knowledge that you are are an open book for. It's like you you your third eye is open wide and you're just you can't get enough information about things. So you're researching the gods and metaphysical stuff and, and, and crystals and different things. So this is the Gemini self. This is your energy this month. So yes, please definitely go look at my Gemini reading or someone else's Gemini reading to see if some of that resonates with you. Because if it, if none of this resonates with you, Capricorn, Gemini does. Maybe that's why they're throwing this in here to have me tell you. If this doesn't resonate, go to Gemini. Gemini again. Gemini again. But... They're reiterating it with the sign, the pentacle, because guess what? This is the magical part of you. This is the magical part of you. You are not afraid of the darkness. Your shadow self. If you're delving into the shadow self of yourself, don't be afraid. The most amazing, strong, powerful energies, people who are healers, intuitives like myself, are the strongest when they embrace the dark with the light. And the shadow self is huge, huge. And then lastly, this is your kid self. Look at that face. Embracing the path. Now, see that in the background where it's showing the older person and the person on the ground? This is your old self dying away, laying there. This is your new self. And this is your, your small child self, your soul, your spirit laughing because you knew ultimately this was going to happen you were going to have to shed your old self and awaken into who you're supposed to be now this isn't an older person they're just in a cape this is the magical slash uh alchemy person so pretty cool that they came through all these cards i hope this reading resonates with you capricorn like i said if it doesn't resonate with you go check out the gemini reading i did or someone else on youtube does there's plenty of readers out there and check and see if that resonates with you. I do hope all of you enjoyed this reading. I'm very grateful for all of you for coming to my channel. Um, I will be downloading some videos tonight or today in regards to some crystals. Just a different kind of video I've never done before. As well as something on um, the retrograde. As well as the last reading which I think I will be uploading after your reading will be. Uh, let me look it up will be Virgo. So if you're waiting for Virgo, that's coming up next. And thank you. Love you guys. See you next month. Bye.